G'day guys, and this is the second part of the series of the ICND one exam practice questions for the CCNA. Today we'll be doing our network devices and communication. So we'll start off with number eight. So we've got a, over a thousand questions uh, to answer and hopefully we can get through a few of them. So number eight is what device is resp responsible for regenerating the signal so that the signal can travel a greater distance? Now, the answer to this one is C. A repeater happens to be the layer one, a layer one device, and that's exactly what it does. It regenerates the signals. That's the answer to that one. Now with number nine, which device filters traffic by looking at the destination address of the frame and then forwards the frame to the port that the destination system resides on? Now, certainly won't be a hub. Hub's a very dumb switch. And uh, also, dealing with frames at a layer two level. I know at layer two level, the switch is generally involved with that. And a route is layer three, so I'm gonna lean towards D to be the answer. And so it is. And I've just given away the answer for this one. Which of the following is a layer three device? If you're just listening then, I literally said the router is a layer three device. A bridge is within a switch and a repeater not involved, a hub, very dumb switch. So the answer would be B, router. Question 11, a device that can send and receive information but not at the same time is said to be simplex, full duplex, multicast or half duplex. What I do know is a full duplex means that devices can receive and also send information at the exact same time intertwined. So if we do that in half, we get a half duplex. Multicast is not involved and simplex, no sir. So it's D, half duplex. Number 12, a message that is sent out on the network and is destined for all systems is known as a, a blank message. Unicast, multicast, full duplex and broadcast. Unicast sends out to one client, multicast sends out to multiple. A full duplex is certainly it's irrelevant. So that leaves us with D being broadcast message, sends out to everyone, basically all clients. And if you saw in the last one, the broadcast a MAC address is all Fs. 13, a message that is sent out on the network and is destined for a group of systems is known as a blank message. Looking at the last one, broadcast means all, so it's not that. Full duplex is a way of communication. So it leaves us with unicast and multicast, and a group would suggest more than one, so it's not uni, it'll be multicast. A group of systems that can receive one another's broadcast messages is known as a blank. B and C look absolutely ridiculous, so that leaves us with A and D. The answer here is actually D. A broadcast domain is a group of systems that can receive one another's broadcast message and by using VLANs, you can break up the network into multiple broadcast domains, and hence the answer there is D. Number 15 is asking us, you are monitoring network traffic and notice that there is a large number of broadcast messages sent across the wire. You would like to separate your network into multiple broadcast domains. How can you do this? And select two of them. All the switch basically does, well, in relevance to this question, is forward information. It doesn't worry about monitoring network traffic. So, and bridges are generally an extension of a switch, so it leaves us with VLANs and routers. Uh, routers sort of deal with that high level uh, traffic network side of things, where switches deal with MAC addresses more so. And VLANs can be used to break uh, the network into multiple broadcast domains by nature, so it's B and C for that one. Number 16, a group of systems that can have their data collide with another is known as a blank. This one isn't too bad, in fact the answer is right there. Collision domain is the answer. That's basically an area of the network where systems collide with one another and each port on the network switch or bridge creates a separate collision domain, whereas all ports on a hub are part of the same collision domain, so that is C for that one. Now a bit of an extension of that original question there, how many broadcast domains and collision domains are there in the diagram below? Bit of a look at this one, the best way to do it, uh, 
is we've got a router here so it's got two uh, using up two ports there so that means there's at least two broadcast domains so that's one broadcast domain and that's another now it's either B or D the answer is actually D it also it counts the switch the switches here and also the clients that they have so they've got one two three four five which makes the answer D two broadcast domains and five collision domains essentially broadcast are from the router ports and the collision domains are all the ports from the switch including itself with the clients on the end so that's all for today guys hope, hope you've enjoyed it and learned a couple of things networking wise device wise and communication uh, those are the questions for today uh, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to check out my other videos as well i'm going to try and do this as a series so stick around for it that'd be great uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you all next time